Consumer research indicates that a large number of those considering a new sport utility vehicle in 1981 already own a four-wheel drive vehicle. They're familiar with the benefits of four-wheel drive traction and the all-around versatility that a sport utility vehicle can offer. The decision to trade in their present vehicle will depend on what a new sport utility has to offer in four main areas. Economy of operation, mobility, utility, and value for the dollar. With new technology, fresh upfront styling, and a host of new features for 1981, the new Chevy Blazer has taken an important step ahead in providing what these prospects are looking for. And that's especially true when you compare Blazer with the Ford Bronco, Blazer's closest competitor. And let's first compare these two vehicles in the area of economical operation. And fuel economy is a big concern to many of today's customers. And many own vehicles with full-time four-wheel drive. They're looking for better mileage than they're presently getting. Blazer, with its new aerodynamics, its trim new weight, reduced rolling resistance, and a new part-time four-wheel drive system, offers significant improvements over the fuel economy of earlier models. Now, let's look at how Blazer's 81 EPA mileage estimates compare with Bronco. A base-equipped six-cylinder Bronco has a federal EPA estimated MPG of 16, 20 estimated highway. The estimated MPG of a base Blazer with a 4.1 liter six is the same, 16. But the estimated highway rating is one mile per gallon greater than Bronco. For an extra $60, a Bronco customer can buy an optional four-speed overdrive manual transmission, which boosts the EPA estimated MPG to 18. But this transmission is not for everyone. Ford does not recommend it for trailer towing, something that sport utility vehicles are often expected to do. Now, what about fuel economy with a V8 engine? Newly available for Blazer is the high compression 5 liter V8 with electronic spark control, which offers better EPA estimated miles per gallon than any Ford Bronco equipped with a V8 engine. A standard Blazer equipped with this engine has an EPA estimate of 16 miles per gallon in the city, 21 highway, a better highway rating than for a base equipped six cylinder Bronco, and significantly better than a Bronco equipped with the same displacement V8 and optional four-speed manual overdrive transmission. When it comes to V8 power, especially popular with those who use their vehicles for hard work or in rugged, hilly terrain, Blazer offers better fuel economy estimates. Now, what about mobility? A key consideration for today's prospect. Mobility is being able to go just about anywhere. The ability to get there when you really need to get there with a minimum of fuss. Well, Blazer shines here, too, with plenty of power to go just about anywhere. Chevy's new 5-liter V8 with ESC offers 160 SAE net horsepower. Truly remarkable, considering that it has the same EPA-estimated MPG as a base Bronco 6-cylinder rated at only 119 SAE net horsepower. To demonstrate the hill-climbing ability of this new Blazer engine, we're matching it up against a Ford Bronco equipped with a 5-liter engine, which offers 137 net horsepower. Other equipment and options are, for all practical purposes, nearly identical. It's an attempt to determine whether either vehicle can climb this steep hill. First, the Blazer. It takes some doing, but the blazer conquers. And now, the Bronco. Remember, it has the same size engine. This Bronco does not have the stuff to make it. It has to back down the hill. The hook is obvious. There is no Bronco engine that can match the horsepower rating of Blazer's new 5-liter V8 with electronic spark control. And if a Bronco customer wants to better this engine in EPA mileage estimates, 
you'll have to opt for the six-cylinder engine and the optional four-speed overdrive transmission. Big news for sport utility prospects is Blazer's new efficient part-time transfer case that's more than 50 pounds lighter than last year's version. It offers the efficiency of a two-wheel drive mode. Yet because of automatic locking front hubs standard in the Blazer in 1981, this new part-time four-wheel drive system offers the convenience that full-time four-wheel drive owners are accustomed to. Also new is this convenient illuminated shift position indicator that lets the driver know exactly what mode the transfer case is in. Compare that to Bronco. No lighted indicator, just a shift pattern on the lever knob. Let's see how Blazer's new 4x4 features contribute to its mobility compared with the standard Bronco. Here are the Bronco and the Blazer both in two-wheel drive as they approach sandy terrain calling for four-wheel drive. The driver in the Blazer simply shifts into four high without stopping and goes. It's that easy and convenient. Shifting on the go helps keep the vehicle's momentum going for smoother, easier traveling into tough terrain. The Bronco driver, he must stop the truck, get out, lock both front hubs, get back in and shift from two-wheel to four-wheel drive, and only then can he head out into four-wheel drive terrain with the traction he needs. The convenience of auto-locking hubs is available for Bronco at the inconvenience of having to pay for an extra cost option. And even then, one still has to stop a Bronco before shifting from two to four-wheel drive. Blazer's synchronized gearing in the new transfer case allows the driver to shift into four high on the go at speeds up to 25 miles per hour. Now, what about utility? The ability to carry people and plenty of cargo. Back here in the Blazer, space for plenty of cargo. Ahead, room for five people with the available folding rear seat. This is a cinder block. It weighs 35 pounds. Bronco can handle the weight of five people and just three of these. But a standard blazer with the available rear seat can handle five people and the weight of 30 cinder blocks. 1,874 pounds of gross payload. 1,024 pounds more than the standard Bronco equipped with a rear seat. Now that's particularly important for people who use a blazer commercially. In this case, it is a significant standard value advantage of Blazer utility. And Blazer's cargo space with the rear seat folded is nearly 90 cubic feet, eight more than Ford's Bronco. Trailering is definitely a part of utility and Blazer's maximum towing capacity, 6,000 pounds. And Bronco's is 5,000 pounds, a thousand less than our value packed sport utility vehicle. And there's more value in Blazer. Standard tinted glass. Extra cost for Bronco. High back bucket seats. Standard for Blazer. Extra cost for Bronco. And just try to get Ford's top of the line Lariat trim level on Bronco. You can't. But Chevy's plush Silverado trim is available with Blazer. And it contains many features not included with Bronco's XLT trim. There's more value in choice of models. Blazer buyers have two to choose from. The K10 Blazer with its new part-time four-wheel drive system with automatic locking hubs, or the two-wheel drive C10 Blazer with independent front suspension for people who want the versatility and function of a sport utility vehicle without paying for the extra cost of four-wheel drive traction. Bronco is only available in the four-wheel drive version. There is no price break available to the Bronco customer who doesn't need or want four-wheel drive traction. Economy of operation, mobility, utility, value for the dollar. That's what sport utility vehicle buyers demand. And that's what the new redesigned Blazer offers in 1981. Added overall value that can turn prospects into new owners of a sport utility vehicle that meets the demands for the 80s.